What's up? It's Postulio's Rage coming at you live in color, large and in charge from this episode of Bus Plays Portal 2. That's right, this is episode 3 of this particular episode, of this particular series, we'll say. And you know what? We're having fun. Let's get into it. Let's go, 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 go! Not bad. I forgot how good you are at this. Yes, I am. You should pace yourself, though. I should. We have a lot of tests to do. I know we should, but still, I'm gonna go through a bunch of these, baby. Seriously. Say. Oh, yeah, so I'm trying to keep these uh, episodes to around uh, 12 to 15 minutes. I don't want to run them too long, because I know the longer I run them, the more they kind of get boring. So. And, yeah, no worries. Let's go. This next test involves discouragement redirection cubes. 50. I just finished building them before you had your, well, episode. My episode. So now we'll both get to see how they work. Cool. There should be one in the corner. Ah, yes, it is right here. Yes, it is. Coolness. Okay, that one drops in. Let's just go this way. Alright, coolness. Yeah! Ow! Yeah! That's right, I got more than one. Oh. Sorry, for some reason I forgot. But I have more than one portal now. <laughs> well done. Thank you. Here come the test results. You are a horrible person. Oh, that's not nice to say, that's GLaDOS. That's A horrible person. Oh, I'm not. I'm a very we nice person. I think I have nice legs, too. I mean, seriously. Have you seen these legs? I mean, come on. It's great stuff. Oh, man. Yeah, she is rude, isn't she? Don't let that horrible person thing discourage you. It's just a data point. I know what if it, it makes you feel any feelings. better, science has now validated your birth mother's decision to abandon you on a doorstep. Oh, that's really mean. Ouch. Hey, GLaDOS, that hurts. Oh, test chamber three, let's do it. Oh, wow, okay. Um. Yeah, never mind, gotta go down. Where's the other one? Ah, uh, yeah, that's right. Over und Congratulations. Not on the test. Most people emerge from suspension terribly undernourished. I want Seriously? to congratulate you on beating the odds and somehow managing to pack on a few pounds. Oh, now you're just getting cold. Come on. I'm very sensitive about my freaking figure, GLaDOS. Come on. Don't be so rude. Come on. Why you gotta be so rude? I'm kidding. <clears throat> I don't listen to those mu that music, you know, because that's crazy music. No, 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 no. <laughs> oh, sorry, guys. All right, what's the next one, GLaDOS? Come one on. One moment. You are navigating these test chambers faster than I can build them. Because I'm just amazing. So feel free to slow down and do whatever it is you do when you're not destroying this facility. Um, whoa, God. Did you guys see that, man? I almost walked off the edge. All right, here comes the fun one. Leave your rot blur, rot blur. Alright. I 
anyone's ever done this one before, but this test chamber is kind of tricky. You gotta know how to do it just right. Yep, just like that. Oh jeez, oh jeez, oh jeez. Okay, got on this side. Discouragement laser. I guess you are listening to me. Of course I am. But for the record, you don't have to go that slow. That wasn't that slow, you jerk. Ugh. She's hurting my feelings, guys. You guys are just sitting there watching this video, watching me take this abuse. Come on, stand up. Put something in the comments. Come on, guys. Stand up for Pastulio's right. I am woman, hear me roar. <laughs> just kidding. No comment, GLaDOS? Alright, gotta rush over here. Oh, whoa, okay. Cool, but at least she's cleaning up still. This next test involves the Aperture Science Aerial Faceplate. It was part of an initiative to investigate how well test subjects could solve problems when they were catapulted into space. Results were highly informative. They could not. Good luck. Well, too bad. I am amazing. Don't forget that, sir. One, two, aha! Oh no! Missed it! Oh, come on! Come on, come on, come on! Oh, dang it! Man, I got this like the first shot whenever I first did it. Yeah! Got it! Haha! <laughs> Only took me two tries. Sweetness. Here's an interesting fact. You're not breathing real air. Really? It's too expensive to pump this far down. Thanks. We just take carbon dioxide out of a room, freshen it up a little, really? and pump it back in. Well, that's fantastic. So you'll be breathing the same room full of air for the rest of your life. Well, I guess I better not fart I then. That I mean, jeez, man, I'll be breathing my own fart for years. It's kind of a disturbing idea, isn't it, guys? Knowing that you could, like, accidentally pass gas and then have to breathe it for almost the rest of your life? That's cray cray. Ugh, gross, Let's man. Let's see what the next test is. Oh, yeah. advanced aerial face plates. Well, have fun soaring through the air without a care in the world. Oh, thank you. I have to go to the wing that was made entirely of glass and pick up 15 acres of broken glass oh, by so myself. Sorry. Again, I am terribly sorry that your life sucks. Okay. We're going to do this one right this time, guys. Yeah, last time, I like, whenever I first played this by myself, I, like, totally flubbed it up. But, you know, maybe we, you know, let's go see if we can, uh, yeah, let's go, let's go to the, uh, the Ratman room. There's actually a secret in this area. Where a lot of people know. It's, like, right in there. Woo! We gotta get some garbage first. Oh, sorry. I'm still cleaning out the test chambers, so sometimes there's still trash in them. Standing around, smelling and being useless. Try oh, to avoid the garbage heading towards you. Oh, 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 no, thank you. I'm going to go do some stuff. So, it's kind of funny. You guys ready for this one? Um, I have a buddy who... Uh, I said there I, 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 sh I showed, showed some of my friends who, uh, what a laser disc was. And the greatest thing is, is that kids don't know what a laser disc is. Now, for all you guys watching my, you know, this episode and whatnot, and you're wondering, you're like, Puss, what the heck is a laser disc? Well, I'll tell you this much. A laser disc is a giant CD. The only difference is, is that it's double-sided, almost like a record, and it plays movies. <laughs> and that was the uh, early 90s kids uh, version of a DVD. Spooky as it sounds, but all right, ah, make it go through first. Oh. oh, oh no, I lost the radio. Oh no, oh crap. I lost the radio. <laughs> wow, I don't think that's ever happened before. I accidentally lost the radio underneath there. I can't. Oh, oh, I got it. Oh, there we go. Maybe. Where'd it go? Oh, there it is. There it is. There we go. There we 
Here it is. The Rat Man. But yeah, fortunately I already did this, uh, I already did this on camera once, and unfortunately the, uh, the decibels, like I said, were all screwy, so unfortunately I don't get to see it again, so, bummer. Oh well, well at least you guys see that, that little bit of, you know, like, Easter eggishness. I love the Easter eggishness. It's so delicious. I don't know about you guys, but I hate boiled eggs. Like, I just remember as a kid, you know, doing, you know, doing, uh, eggs for, you know, for, uh, Easter and stuff, you know? And it was actually pretty cool, you know? I enjoyed it, but the thing was is that everybody would eat them afterwards, and as a kid, I used to love boiled eggs. Don't get me wrong, I used to love boiled eggs. But then, I had a ruthless stepmother that... She didn't like me very much, I guess. I didn't like her very much either, but then at the same time, she made us eat egg salad. Now, there's some people out there who love egg salad, okay? Don't get me wrong, I'm not anti-egg salad. I'm just against force-feeding children things they don't like. So she used to have this, you know, this way that she would, you know, you know, she, she would make, like, lots of things in bulk. Now, she would not only make these large things in bulk, but she would also, you know, make Remember us eat that. Remember before when I was talking lunch. about smelly okay. garbage standing around being useless? Mm -hmm. That was a metaphor. Really? I was actually talking about you. Oh, and I'm sorry. Nice. You didn't react at the time, so I was worried it sailed right over your head. Oh, which would have made this apology seem insane. That's why I had to call you garbage a second time just now. Wow, you're a jerk, GLaDOS. But yeah, she made us eat egg salad, so now every time I smell, even hear the word egg salad, I tend to get a little bit ooky, and my belly tends to hurt a little bit, because I just think it's gr just freaking gross. But anyway, guys, that is actually going to wrap it up for this episode. Let's just see if Glados has anything to say real quick. Did you know quick. that people with guilty consciences are more easily startled by loud noises? Ah! Oh, no, I'm just kidding. <laughs> I'm sorry. I don't know why that went off. I, anyway, I'm just I'm sure an you don't, interesting Glados. science fact. Oh, I understand that, Glados. But still, you're a jerk. But anyway, guys, this is Postulio's Rage signing up on this episode of Puss Plays Portal 2. Hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Don't forget to check out the other stuff on my channel. And also, don't forget to follow me on Twitter, because how are you supposed to know when my new stuff is out if you're not following me on Twitter? And also, guys, don't forget to check out my friends' channels, too. You know, I like my buddy Hawkeye, I Possum, and especially Bunny Z and Freak Bird, as well as a few other people that I've always played with, like Bam Hookum. Way too many people to, to list out, but go check out their channels and whatnot. They are featured in on my channel. And also, don't forget to, you know, like, leave cool comments for them. But anyway, guys, I'll see you guys in the next one. And until then, I'm going to say, laters!